I love my truck. Look at that, eh? This is made for dogs. So one of the most important things about traveling a dog is many dogs die of heat exhaustion in a vehicle. The good thing about this type of truck is we've got ventilation in the side, we've got ventilation up through the top. I've also got my water bowl here, so I've got a special travel bowl I use that can tip up and not uh, pour water everywhere. So even if I had to park in the sun for a short while, I could for a little while. However, as a general rule, I try and park in the shade, just like you should. <laughs> Thanks, Jazz. You expected to put them in my truck. It's perfect. That's the good thing about having a truck like this. I can put them in the back and don't have to clean my seats. Okay. Oh, and have another shake in there. Thank you. <laughs> so if you don't have an awesome truck like this, let's have a look at what another option might look like. So this is not how I would travel a dog. But for those people who do choose to travel their dog like that, there's a safe way to do it. You've got the cargo clip over this side here. You can run a chain between it and you need to use a short clip chain so the dog can't get over here and flip off the side of the truck when you go around the corner. So it's really important, this part of it. Obviously in the big cab, in the crates is safer. Or alternatively, we'll show you what to do inside. So as you can see, they're all harnessed in with their harnesses. The seat belt runs through the loop and clips up and the seat buckle. So you can be nice and safe <laughs> and all strapped in.